All right, let's take a look at this example. Let's try to find the LCM of 15 and 24. So uh, in order to find the LCM, uh, you need to do a prime factorization on both 15 and uh, 24. And prime factorization is the key thing to tackle the LCD, LCM problems. So first of all, let's, uh, let's factor 15, right? So 15, right now 15, and we're gonna construct a tree diagram. And let's take a look at the smallest prime number that goes into 15. First of all, two is the smallest prime number, but two doesn't go into 15. Then we move on to next prime number, which is three. 3 is the prime number that goes into 15, 3 going into 15, 5 times. Now both 3 and 5, both factors are prime numbers, so we basically complete the prime factorization. So 15 is equal to 3 times 5. Both factors are prime numbers. And let's take a look at 24. So 24. And the smallest prime number goes to 24 will be 2. 2 going to 24 12, time, 12 times. However, 12 is not a prime number yet, so we're gonna keep breaking down 12. So um, the smallest prime number going to 12 is 2 again. 2 going to 12 will be 6 times. 2 is a prime number, but 6 is not. So we have to keep breaking down 6. And the smallest prime number going to 6 would be 2. Then the remaining factor is 3. So the 24 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. And we normally write a repetitive factors as exponents so we get a 2 times 2 times 2 becomes 2 to the third times 3 now the LCM is determined by the prime factorization so what we do is we look at each individual factors and uh, we start with uh, 2 2 is the factor appear on 24 and we take the highest exponents so 2 cubed and both prime factorization include 3, so we include 3. Also, 5 is a part of a factor for 15, so we also include 5. So eventually we end up with 8 times 3 times 5. 8 times 3 is 24. 24 times 5, 120. So my LCM is 120. All right, so that's the example number one. And let's take a look at a very similar example, which is example number two. Now we have a th three numbers, 12, 18, and 27. And pretty much we perform the same procedure, right? We do the prime factorization for 12, 18, and 20, 27. We start with 12. So smallest prime number that goes into 12 would be 2. 2 is a prime number, put in the circle that. Then the remaining factor would be 6. 6 is not a prime number yet. We have to keep breaking down this. So the smallest prime number going to 6 will be 2. 2 going to 6, 3 times. All right, so we take care of the 12 now. So 12 equals to 2 times 2 times 3, which is 2 squared times 3. We always write it in a simplified form. Now let's take a look at 18. The smallest prime number going to 18 will be 2. 2 going to 18, 9 times. Now 9 is not a prime number yet, so we get a um, take the smallest prime number and make it go into 9. 
so the smallest smallest prime number going to nine will be three. Three going to nine three times. So eighteen is equal to two times three times three. So we have two times three square. And the very last one we have to break down is twenty seven. So for twenty seven the smallest prime number going to twenty seven will be three. 3 going to 27 9 times. Now we'll break down 9 as 3 times 3. Now 27 is equal to 3 times 3 times 3 equals to 3 to the third. So the LCM, both, both the 12 and the 18 has a factor of 2. So we take a 2. And we use the highest exponent or higher exponent. In this case, it would be 2 to the second. And in terms of 3, each prime, prime factorization includes a factor of 3. And the 27 has a highest exponent, which is third cube. So we have a 3 to the third. And we end up with 2 square, which is 4. 3 square, 3 cube would be 27. So 4 times 27 is going to be 108. So LCM will be 108. So every time you have a um, LCD or LCM problem, prime factorization is one of the most effective way to find the LCM or LCD.